So in the previous video, I showed you how to actually go ahead and reproduce the steps that the Yocta project does when it builds a splash screen on your Linux machine. So it looks something like this. We cloned, we checked out a specific revision, we applied a patch, then we did auto reconf, configure make, and then we actually ran the p splash executable to generate our image that we had within the patch. So if I go for example and see what I have here, then we see that the status in Git, and now we can see better because I'm running a, a GNOME terminal, so probably we can see better, I can control better, I can show with the mouse, and so on. So here we can see that like we changed two files, and that this was like our patch. We changed the background to green, and we show the image. Now, if I look here, for images, actually, then I'm going to find two images, all right? Let's go ahead and actually see them, okay? So we see these two, one that was not transparent and one that was transparent. Let me just tell you that if you go ahead and select the master branch and not particular commit, and then on the phases that we did, at least at this point, you will see one of these images, okay? Let me also tell you that when we're actually going to build the Yocto project, we're going to see another splash screen at the beginning. That means these ones are going to be overridden. So we will see how to apply the same steps to override our own things. As a reminder, what we saw, speaking of the folders itself, of the Yocta project are this. This would be under TMP work, core two, P splash, revision git, and then auto ink, and then the revision that we have where the work tree of git was. And the configuration file looks like this. We reproduced from this. And the source revision we took from the recipe. And the recipe itself is this one. Now it will be a little bit bigger, so let's have a look at it. So we have like summary, description. We have the homepage of the project. We can look at it. Then we have the SRC revision that we had. And check it out. We see package version 0 0.1 plus git plus SRC PV. This is the reason why we saw this guy, okay? Now, we also have like the release 15 PR. You can see if you don't know Yocto so well, uh, so far you can see there is there are variables like PN, PV, PR, and of course I explained more. And we see that the URI that we have is this one with the base package name. It's going to be PSplash and we in addition, we provide splash init and splash images, which is going to be psplash pokey image dot h. Now, why is this important? Because among other things, this is one of the files that we replace. Okay. So if we look here, we're going to have psplash pokey image dot h, which is what we had. So I'm going to show how to generate this one, okay? Now I'm not going to go over the Python functions too much. And uh, they're not difficult. If somebody wants, I will happily show it. Uh, but it does show how to generate these things. And what we do see is that on the do compile task, we have make image adder dot sh. So this actually implies something but i'm telling you that on the build itself this one is not going to be used okay we don't really need to use it if we already provide a header file okay what we also see that after the installation we have do install this is the install task and append appends to the default auto tools install 
So we can see that the sysconf in D is going to be populated. And we can see that it's going to be populated with p splash init that we actually saw a little bit in a previous video. Okay. Now, what we also see is that we're going to install the binary itself and that we're actually going to generate a shell script p splash.sh with some parameters that will be used. This will be used if we actually show the init script later. And I don't know if we'll do it to show the progress bar. Okay, start is going to start like the service name and then parameters. And we will see when we boot a progress bar with it. So I'm not going to talk about it way too much. But if the distro has system D, then things will look a little bit different in general. We're going to use system control and so on. Reminder, we use auto tools okay and update our CD is actually a recipe that takes care of the csv init okay so this was our recipe and now this one is under pokey meta recipes p splash and reminder this is what we had we had the p splash init to mention and the p slash pokey image h file if you look at it we will see, sorry, if we look at it, we will see that its hash value is 13A, 1B, and so on, okay? And if we look here, like where we actually build things, we will see that the hash is different, 5AD8FB351. When I will show you graphically, and I'll do it very, very, very soon, you will also see why, okay? So I'll first show you about recipes. The reason for it is that we're going to go to recipes, sorry, to metapoki, and then to recipes core, you see, same folder name. And here we have a p splash as well. If you look at the structure, it's pretty much the same. Here I actually modified something myself. Like I modified it to point to tmp git psg edited image.h. Okay, but the original one, if you look at the MD5 sum of it. It's going to be 905173A54 and so on. So what I'm going to show now is very, very quick and very, very dirty to achieve the image replacing task. Later, I will show you how to do it in the proper way and also show how to like generate the images. Now, what we have here under Metapoki, we also have a file directory and a directory that is named exactly like what we had under meta under the open embedded core but instead of being dot bb it is now dot bb append so let me just remind you how the files look like the structure in the original one we had files we have p splash in it that is not going to be touched and we have p splash pokey image.h that I went and modified it in this case I put a link in this particular case also renamed library since I did it but I'm going to do it like again I just want to show you the end result okay so this is what I had and this append file sorry and this append file, it says this, we add to the extra path that is where to look for files. Let me remind you in the recipe, 
that in the recipe itself we add a files src.ri that says file p splash init and we have splash images file this image this has a meaning okay so where the meaning is search for well-known path but what we're going to do here now but what we're going to do here now is to go ahead and prepend to the path the current directory and file okay this means that if we have this pb append whatever we point in files will take precedence over what was earlier and it's important as i'll show later when we talk about layers that this also applies to if i go ahead and put several paths so if i have this variable files extra paths and at the end it contains something like a b c and i have a file x that exists both in a both in b and both in c then the a version will be selected okay very 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 important this i'm going to mention when we talk about um the yocto layers so this is what we add and the contents of this particular file is the content that we had here we, we did the md5 sum of it and i just want to show you how the result of this would look like so i'm going to go I'm going to source open embedded in build env to the directory that i put and I'm going to run QEMU. So now the kernel boots, and I will stop after we see the splice screen and a little bit of progress, okay? So we see, there it is, you see? PSEG, Premium Software Consulting Group. This header file did not have the green modifications that I put earlier, okay? So we will see a progress bar here and the progress bar will actually increase um, and there is a mechanism for it. The mechanism for it is that there is a named pipe that sends message actually on, on the init script we are going to send messages over this named pipe and p splash reads from this pipe in order to see what is going on in order to show, okay, so there was this kind of progress, so advance the progress bar. And at the end of the procedure, we will see the graphical display, which is called SATO. One of the things you can see, let's say I open the terminal, you can see it's like I ran uname over it, I could run other, other applications as well. And I could do just like we did in the previous video. I can run p splash from here. And then it will actually repaint the frame buffer. Now this is the older image that I had, the white one, okay? I will show you later and we'll show it in the splash screen how to actually go ahead and use uh, this one, okay? So I just painted it. And the idea is that if I switch terminals, switch virtual terminals here, then I should be able to go ahead and remove it, okay? But here, init does not send commands, and therefore, I'm not going to progress the, the progress bar. So I will close it, and um, I will show you now how things look by default okay before my modification so let's do that okay so i'm going to go to the recipes core and let's have a look at the status and i'm going to get rid of this 
So here goes. And pay attention that here the background was white because I did not modify it as opposed to what I did in our example. That in our example yesterday we also showed how we modify the background color. Okay. So here goes. So now I'm going to get rid of these changes. And we can see that now we have under files these two files that I'm going to be the same. 90F and this is the append file of the Yocto project and this will show you the splash screen that you know from the Yocto project. So let's go ahead and build this. Okay. So I'm going to go into this directory or resource, the OE init build end, and I'm going to go ahead and to bit bake to core image sato. This is how I built the image in the first place. We can see that the main task that is going to happen here is the brutefs of core image sato. Why? Because sp splash goes into the rootfs as we could see when I ran it from the terminal inside my target, the emulator. Other tasks are going to be the do image star, for example, and the creation of the ext file system, which is the one that is going to be tarred. And now we're going to have a new emulator. So I'm going to run it. And let's see what happens here. So the kernel messages, what we care about is the splash screen. After we see it, I'm going to disconnect. And we see the Yocto project splash screen. Okay. And this is what it's going to show. Now I want to show you something. We reason that the MD5 sums for these ones are 95.3 and so on. And now I can get rid of this rig because I do not need it. It's the original. So the status of my git tree looks exactly as it should be. Okay. But now let's have a look. This is our output directory. Okay. And in this output directory, look what we see. Modified p splash pokey image dot h. Okay. What is different here? So first let's have a look at this file. And we still see 5AD 8FB351, which was the previous one, not what we resetted it to. Okay. However, we know for sure that on the target it's okay. Why? What is the problem here? So the problem here is this. We actually had this file from before in our asset cached here. And this was also properly packaged. When we reconstructed our build phases, we actually did not do the fetching of it again into this working directory. So if I want to force it to happen, I need to go ahead and actually regenerate this one. So the way I'm going to regenerate it, the first and like more secure thing in order to actually get the file again is to force the running of the do fetch task and to be on the very safe side what i would want to do is to also clean it so this will later show warning that a force uh, run of a particular task was done and so on 
but I'm just going to show that and then we're going to cut the video and I will explain more in the next video. So look at this. So this is our pbfn directory and this was our build directory. So what I'm going to do is this bitbake psplash dash c clean. That's what I'm going to do. And let's see what happens now. Now this directory is empty. To be honest, if I go and look at psplash, it is completely empty now. Now I'm going to go ahead and manually do fetch. Nothing provide fetch. Why? Because fetch is not a provider. So I need to decide how I build it. Like if I want to invalidate stamp or not to invalidate stamp, I'm going to do dash capital C. To force, I'm going to do dash F. They're pretty much the same in this particular context now. And I'm going to do dash C, fetch. And now because I cleaned, I would expect to see the file. But let's see if it happens. So I'm going to P splash and here I see the git, but something is missing here. Like I have the temp and I have recipe root native and I have recipe root. So something here is not exactly what I'm expecting to see. I was expecting to see a git folder here. Now the reason for this is that my stamps are not uh, invalidated. So Yocto thinks that this task has already been done. So what I'm going to do now is going and invalidate the stamp and look at this. Do fetch is tainted from a first run. What we did now was a first run, but now we can see that we actually do configure and do compile once again, do package. So the packaging is rewritten and this just know if you do these phases and not build the entire image that is do bit bake core image sato then the final root file system will not be populated but I, what i wanted to show you here is that now we actually have our code and now if we do md5 sum on p splash pocky image dot h we see that this is the number which is exactly the number that we add here. So on the next phase, we're going to see how to override it properly. We're going to change the color of the background file and we're going to see how this works. Okay, and we're going to combine everything like a Yocto and do it properly.